Vroom vroom, let's get behind the wheel and get more out of Google Drive. Hello everyone, Scott Friesen here at Simpletivity, helping you to get more done and enjoy less stress at the same time. And in today's video, we are looking at Google Drive, one of my favorite applications. Why? Because I can store and work with and collaborate on almost any type of file. So in today's video, I wanna share with you five of my favorite ways to get the the most out of Drive. But before we begin, I'd like to thank today's sponsor, PDF Element by Wondershare. Now, if you deal with PDFs in any way, shape, or form, you're going to want to check out PDF Element. You can edit all of your text, all of your images within any PDF document. You can get others to sign, annotate, or collaborate within your PDFs as well. So if you'd like to give PDF Element a try or get 40% off of your purchase, look for the links in the description below. Now, the first tip I want to share with you today has to do with converting text from an image into a working document. How many times have you been given an image of something? Maybe you've taken a picture of something while you're out with your smartphone and you said to yourself, I'd like to use that text. I'd like to be able to edit that text in my own Google document. Here you see I have an image which is just a picture. Although it contains mostly text, I can't actually grab this text at this point point in time. But you can do something very easy in order for you to work with this text. Simply right click on the image and say open with Google Docs. Now, depending on the size of the image, depending on how much text that image contains, it may take a few seconds. But in just a few seconds, you will see I now have a new Google document. At the top, I will have that image again. But here is the real win. It's what's happening down below that image. Here it has converted all of the text within this image into usable text. It's even tried to recreate the color. I think it's chosen yellow because I had a white text in the original image. Let's fix that by just uh, selecting that text. We can easily change the color. And now I can go ahead and I can edit this any way I want. It's done a very good job as well. Uh, no spelling errors. I don't see any punctuation errors as we see it here. Let's try it one more time. And this time I actually have a picture from a section within a textbook. So again, I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna say open with Google Docs. Now again, it might take a few seconds if you're using multiple pages or a, again, a file with lots and lots of text, this process might might take a little bit longer, but in less than 10 seconds, here I have the original image above, and down below I have all of this great text, which I can now put into my document, I could put into a PowerPoint or somewhere else that I'm editing within Google Drive. So make use of Google Drive's OCR technology. The next tip I want to share with you has to do with finding further information for a document that you may be working on. Now, of course, you could always open up a new tab within your browser and do a Google search and find further information of whatever it is that you're writing about, but Google Drive makes it so much easier. In the bottom right-hand corner of your screen, you will see this little star icon. It's actually called the Explore icon. And if I select this, it will do a quick scan of all the information that I have so far within my document and give me some suggested topics, images, and even some related searches. Yes, this essentially works like a miniature version of Google Search. So at the top, I can select further search terms if I want, or I can dive deeper into some of the topics that they've already suggested for me. I can search the web, I can browse certain images, and even bring them directly into my document if I want to. So if you are looking for ways, a quicker and easier way to bring in information or do research while you're working within Drive, you can make use of the Explore icon. You can also find this under Tools, where you can can find the explore option as well.
Speaking of research, let's next take a look at how we can get images and other components of a website into Google Drive even when we're casually browsing the web. You know, often as I'm browsing through articles and other websites, I may want to grab images or other components of that website and save it to my Drive account. Well, there is a Google Chrome extension which makes this so much easier, and it's called Save to Google Drive. Once you have this extension installed in your browser, all you need to do is right-click on an image, and you can see I have an option here to save that image to Google Drive. I get a new dialog telling me that it's been saved to my Drive account, and if I go back, here you see, there it is. Now I have a copy of that image right here in my Drive account. Now there's another way that you can use the Save to Google Drive extension. Let's say I'd like to take a snapshot of this entire web page, something that's not always easy to do. Well, if I select the extension here in the browser, it's going to take a few seconds and actually scan and take images of the entire web page. When it's complete, again, I'm going to get a similar dialog box in the top left-hand corner of my screen telling me that it's been saved to my Google Drive account. It may take a few moments depending on the size of the web page which you have scanned. But in just a few seconds, things are done. I'm going to hit close. Let's go back to my Google Drive account. And here you see I now have a full page screenshot of this web page. And of course, I can zoom in if I want to read or maybe take snippets of other parts of this web page. This is often most handy when you want to see the layout of an entire web page or maybe multiple pages on a particular website. So again, that extension is saved to Google Drive. I'll leave a link in the description below. Now the next tip on this list might just be my favorite, and that's because I love when I find things that automate a process or automate steps so I don't have to remember something later in the future. Of course, within Google Drive, you can share virtually any file, any file type, whether it's a native Google file or if it's just something that you've uploaded. But one of the great things with sharing with others is that you can set certain limits on what they can see and what they can do. Now, you're probably already familiar with this dropdown, allowing people to edit, comment, or view, depending on what kind of access you want to give to this particular file. But if you select the advanced link down below, you even get some additional options. Not only can you see everyone that this particular file is sharing with, but if you hover over a particular name, here's someone that I've shared this file with, you will see that there's a little set expiration icon. If you click this icon, you can determine how long they have access to this file. So let's say, for example, I'm sharing a video file with someone. I just want their approval. I just want their feedback. But I don't want to give them full access to that video indefinitely. Or I don't want to remember to come back and then remove them from this file sharing dialog. I can say, well, I just want to give them access for seven days or maybe 30 days. Those are the two D defaults, but of course I can select a custom date range as well. And when those days are up, that individual will no longer have access to that file. And of course, you can always come in here and cancel that expiration as well. So this can be very powerful, especially if you're dealing with some sensitive information that you only want to allow others to see for a short period of time. So again, once you click on the Advanced tab on the Sharing dialog, you can hover over those names and select the Set Expiration icon. Now the last tip I have for you is all about saving time. You probably already know the benefits of knowing some shortcut keys in your favorite application, but sometimes it's hard to remember all of those wonderful shortcuts. Well, no matter where you are in Google Drive, all you need to do is select Control equals forward slash, and you will get a full menu of all of the keyboard shortcuts available to you. And what I love about this menu is that not only can you browse through it on the left here, they've broken them out into different sections, but you can also search for particular shortcuts at the top of this dialog. 
So perhaps I'm editing something. I want to click on editing. Uh, perhaps I didn't know that Control K will allow me to insert a link. Now, depending on which application you're in, for example, Docs versus Sheets versus Slides, these shortcut keys may differ. So you'll want to hit Control equals forward slash in the different applications that you're working on. Now, I'd love to hear from you next. What are some of your favorite tips when it comes to working with Google Drive? Or which of these five are you going to find most useful? Be sure to leave a comment for me down below. If you haven't yet subscribed to this Simpletivity YouTube channel, I hope you do so. And be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Remember, being productive does not need to be difficult. In fact, it's very simple.